Okay, um, we got Sheila here with us. Sheila's a women's tennis player who's in her senior year at Lenore Ryan University. Um, this is the first season that the athletic trainer, I'll be playing athletic trainer, this is the first season that me as athletic trainer is working with Sheila, and uh, we just recently met. She's, uh, she's getting treatment on her knee, and the athletic, knows, the athletic trainer notices signs of uh, persistent depressive disorder in the athlete. And uh, the athletic trainer will use interviewing skills to explore and address the psychological disorder and recommend appropriate action uh, to address it. Note that the trainer is direct, but not overbearing and is probing for information. And also note how he uses credibility and rapport with the athlete to suggest referral. Hey, Shelly, how you doing? How's your knee feeling today? It's okay. You know, feeling a little bit better than uh, yesterday. Why don't you uh, grab a towel and we'll get started on the ultrasound. All right, that works. How are classes going and everything? Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I uh, I got a D on my last biology test. Uh, I didn't really study for it, but... Hey, what happened? Uh, busy. You know, I got the injury, and so uh, I woke up late for the test, and, you know, I got started at 8, but I didn't get there on time. So I was sort of rushing around. Did your alarm not go off or something? Uh, well, I forgot to set it. You know, I was tired the night before, so it must have just slipped my mind. Yeah, I was going to say, you look, uh, you look really tired. Uh, how many hours of sleep are you getting? I mean, I, I sleep all the time. I notice that, uh, you know, after practices, I just go to sleep and, you know, wake up for dinner, go back to sleep, stuff. But I'm always tired, you know, I just don't get it. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you've been sleeping too much. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm always out of energy, but that should be the opposite. You know, I should feel rested, but I'm not. How long, uh, how long have you been noticing this going on? Uh, I would say since my sophomore year. Uh, I mean, I'm always tired and have no energy, so I guess that seems about right. So you're a senior now, you've noticed since in sophomore year, and you're always tired. Yeah. You sleep a lot. I mean, I guess it's, uh, you know, I'm just sort of, just sleeping, no, no real reason, it's just sort of, I just take a, take a nap and didn't really think anything of it. Um, I guess now that you're pointing it out, yeah. it seems that it's sort of excessive. Do you um, do you notice it affecting your like concentration in class? Do uh, you sleep in class? Yeah, occasionally. At 8 o'clock class, I do. Yeah. That's, that's hard to get up for. So, But you know, I should be used to it, but it's that one 8 o'clock class after, uh, yeah. you know, on Fridays after a Thursday night. I don't know if you don't mind me asking, how are things, uh, you know, how are things with your family? Well, uh, I'm from California, so... Okay. Obviously, I don't get to see them much. Um, I don't go home very often, only for the holidays. But, you know, I, I sort of keep in contact with them not very often. Yeah. How does it make you feel that you uh, don't get to see them that often? Not very good. Yeah. I got a little brother. He's about 10. You know, it makes me sad that, you know, I can't see him all the time. And he's sort of there by himself, so I miss him a lot. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, upset, I guess. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't get to, uh, I don't get to talk to him because he doesn't really pick up the phone much, and I don't call him, especially with sports. So, it's a little upsetting. So, when's the last time you saw him? Hmm. I guess I would say last spring. I mean, I didn't go home because I had to take some summer classes so I could yeah. graduate. So, I didn't really get a chance to go home because we jumped, you know, from final exams to. Uh, to an internship and then uh, summer classes, so I haven't been home since probably, I guess, spring break. Yeah, that must make you feel pretty down. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. Do you feel like it uh like it affects your emotions any? Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I try not to think about it, but it just sort of creeps back up on um, in my mind. So it's sort of uh, I don't know. I guess I don't really like to talk much about it. Yeah. So, how often uh, do you find it affecting you, like emotionally? Well, what do you mean by often? Like how often? Like do you, you know, do you feel sad most of the time, like most days, or? Yeah, I guess you would. If I feel sad more than I don't feel sad, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I noticed that you said that um, you've been feeling like you haven't had a lot of energy for the past couple of years. Do you feel like you've been you know, sad for the most part the last couple of years? I guess so. Uh, you know, I've been here in Hickory, uh, you know, for 
four years, I guess, and you know, I've been in a slump. You know, I just haven't felt like myself. Uh, I don't know if it's you know being here in Hickory, but I or being away from my family. You know, it's just sort of. I just feel upset, you know, no energy, and yeah. so I guess sleeping, I think, you know, I don't have to think about it, so I, I guess I sleep. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you try to elaborate a little bit on that? Uh, I don't really what do you know. Mean you don't, what do you mean you don't, you haven't felt like yourself? Like, well, did you feel different before you came to? Yeah, I guess I, I felt, uh, I wouldn't say, I mean, I was happy, but, mm -hmm. you know, I was with family in, in California, so everything was going great, you know, I was doing well in my sport and uh you know achieving a lot of things and so i got the scholarship to come to school and uh, you know it was a big adjustment you know coming from one side to the other yeah, I but i didn't i thought i could handle it you know going away that'd be really cool and I, I guess it's a little harder than uh than i thought you know being alone away from my family and so you know things aren't really getting any better from what i thought they would because um, i got you know a semester left in school so it's just it's it's a long time and sort of sort of depressing. Have you tried anything to kind of make yourself feel better? Uh, you mean like you know taking drugs? <laughs> no, no. I mean like you hang out with friends. What do you do on the weekend? Oh, uh, try not, to take your mind off of you know missing family. Not really. I mean I stay pretty busy. You know I've got classes and then practice and you know not many friends because I'm you know from California so it's sort of a different you know kind of social group so I don't really fit into anything so yeah. you know not really well I'm just you know I'm just here to help I care about your well-being and because you're my athlete and I want to yeah. make sure things are going good well I appreciate it uh usually you know you're asking if I do things on the weekends you know we either have tennis matches or you know I sleep in Saturday till probably two or three I mean that's that's usually a Saturday because I can sleep don't have any classes or anything and so you know, I just sort of sleep around and watch movies on Saturday. Same thing for Sundays. Too. How's your relationship with, like, you know, your, your peers? Do you have any friends on campus? A few. A few tennis players, but they uh, they live off campus, so I don't see them on the weekends, so that's sort of why. Gotcha. I, yeah, I don't really, uh, they don't come pick me up. I don't really go ask there, yeah. so it's sort of hard that way. I mean, from what you've been telling me, it seems like you've been experiencing some symptoms, you know, with a... A psychological disorder called persistent depressive disorder. It's where mm -hmm. you kind of you're in a slump. You feel depressed more days than not, and it's right. been going on for more than like two years. And that kind of sounds like what's been going on. And added to the fact that you're sleeping a lot, that's also another symptom. Hmm. I mean, that, that sounds disorder. familiar. The sleeping. I guess you know. I never thought that there would be anything wrong or with sleeping. I guess I thought that would be you know normal. I guess all college students did that. Um, you know, I just, I don't really know what to do. Um, I just wish I wasn't so down all the time. I wish, you know, I wish I was happy. Yeah. You know, I wish I could, you know, enjoy the tennis matches and being out, you know, with friends and stuff. It's just, I tend to think of my family and my brother. Yeah. And um, I just get, you know, I get tired and I just don't, I don't have the energy to go out, I guess. And then, so I just... I'll tell you what, if you're... If you're interested, I, I know somebody that can help um, that can help you out, um, and I'm all, I only want to offer the help if you're you know if you you're willing to accept it or whatever. Um, I don't want to force you to do anything you don't want to do, mm -hmm. and, um, but just ma bear in mind that you know I have your best interest in mind. I care about you. And, okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess I never thought, like I said, that there was anything wrong. But you know, I'm willing to do whatever, especially to make this last semester you know a good one to remember, yeah. and you know, hopefully go out with a positive note here in Hickory, so I'll do whatever it takes to feel better. I have a, um, I have a good friend in the counseling department, uh, his name's Steve Walker, and uh, he might be able to help you. He's a, he's a mental health specialist, and he, he's helped some of my athletes in the past. I've had athletes with, with kind of stuff going on in their okay. lives, and he's kind of helped them get through that. And so I've even seen myself, you know, okay. with some stuff, some issues I've had. And well, like, what, what exactly do I have to do? Um, you know, I don't want anybody really to know no, that. No, I got you. I, got I don't you. want anybody to know that things are, you know, wrong with me. They would think I'm sort of a, a psycho, I guess. Well, look, don't, what's most important is your, you know, your happiness and your well-being. So don't really worry about what, what everybody else is going to see. This is what I'll do. I'll give them a call, mm -hmm. and um, and then I can give him, I can forward your information to him, and you guys can talk instead of a meeting. 
And then when you get that first meeting set up, you call me, and then I'll I'll kind of walk you over there and introduce you guys so so it makes it more comfortable for that's, you. Like yeah, I'll that walk works. You over I there. guess going to therapy is a little. I guess if that's what you call it, it's yeah. sort of a, a weird. It's a weird thing going to therapy. I didn't think that I would need that, but yeah, you, you know, if you're willing to walk me over there, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable, especially because I don't want anybody else to know. No, I was a little scared see the me. first. Yeah, I was a little scared the first time I went to therapy too. You know. You, you're afraid about what people might think and stuff like that, but yeah, just know in the long term that it's helped out a lot of people, and I hope that you trust me enough to let me, you yeah, know, refer I you over there. I'll uh, give me his card or number or email or something, and you know, maybe maybe you could talk to him first. Yeah, I'll give him a call and then okay, and I'll then let him know what's going on and stuff, and then he'll he'll contact you and then I'll walk you over there. All right. Well, I appreciate that. You know, hopefully that you know, this knee will get better too. With you know, maybe he'll find some. Uh, special remedies for my knee. All right, sounds good. I'll be in touch. Thank you so much.